So I guess I owe an apology to Adam Eisner. Hey guys, Nick here and welcome to the channel. As some of you know, I was privileged enough to travel to Brussels, Belgium last week. And I posted up the short. Okay guys, so I'm actually doing some traveling and Belgium's one of my stops. And guess what? One of these are happening. Yeah, there's a workshop this weekend in Belgium. Unfortunately, it's not with Adam Meisner, it's with Gabriel Meisner. So, I'll be participating, if my time schedule allows it. I'll keep you guys updated on that. So, if I do get to participate, I'm going to leave a nice little review. And also, I'm going to get to see what it's about. This is going to be fun. So, I was actually lucky enough to book a ticket and attend the workshop with Gabriel Meisner. And it was a massive eye-opener. I had a really good experience. Everybody was very friendly. And when it came to the training... I was massively unprepared for this. Me, who has been doing jujitsu for quite some time, I thought I was very flexible and had a lot of mobility. And I realized I'm actually very, very stiff. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to actually uh, record anything of this workshop. They don't like that, which is unfortunate. But I can completely understand, you know, by recording everything. It actually takes away value from the workshop. These guys work hard to establish their brand. And, you know, if you post everything up on the internet where it's for free, uh, this could take away the value. I had to leave very early on Sunday morning. I had to be back today. Sunday, I missed the second part of the workshop. But when I got home, I made a post last night saying that I would privatize my videos because I was wrong about Meisner. Because with the skill that uh, Gabriel showed, I have no doubt in my mind that Meisner is far superior. As you know, those videos that I made of Meisner, I made private. Uh, I might just delete them or I just want to keep them to download the videos so I can review where I was wrong. And, uh, Alan from in defense of the traditional martial arts, uh, commented. So I, I messaged him a video and uh, Tomo from Martial Geeks also private messaged me um, asking me about, about it and I sent him this uh, video. Hey guys, so as you know, I went to the HME workshop and I was actually totally surprised. I think I was actually wrong about them. So uh, you'll notice that I put my YouTube videos covering Adam Meisner on private. I'm probably going to delete them. Uh, probably make videos on why I was wrong. And, you know, the experience was actually very insightful and fulfilling. Uh, I've actually started using some of the teachings uh, in my jujitsu classes. But to be honest, it's funny how Adam Meisner has brought us together, and I think you guys need to try a workshop as well. I actually made more demos like this with my with my jits class this morning, but I'm gonna be posting those up. Uh, later through the week, week and just doing breakdowns of how these things work. I learned some things and I have been implementing it in my jujitsu already, which I find totally amazing. I, I must say that, you know, like I'm still very stiff and I'm not as smooth with these, with these techniques and, and whatnot, but, but nonetheless, they are actually effective. But yeah, like I said, I will post more of those things that I demonstrated with my JITS guys and uh, giving a complete breakdown. I'm also going to be posting uh, photos and videos of my trip in Brussels uh, to on my Instagram so you guys can check it out there. I have to apologize. I was wrong. I would just like to say sorry to Adam Meisner for uh, doubting you and then all his followers uh, who I criticized and I was definitely rude to I would just like to apologize to you guys as well you were right I was wrong I had to go check out a workshop for myself I hope you can uh, I hope you guys can forgive me and 
hopefully I will actually get to meet you guys in the future. But until next time, guys, take care.